Have you suddenly been hit by a situation or circumstance and in the moment you like lack that confidence? Been there many, many times. So today I'm going to share three things with you that you can do in the moment when things get tough. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to add on an extra one for you then as well that you want to stick around for. Now, before we dive in, I want to mention that if you want a particular topic on men's mental health, men's growth, maybe you're a man or you know a man that could do with this, then check out my latest podcast, the Men's Mental Health and Growth Podcast, linked in the show notes below. There's been many times in my life when I just felt like rubbish and in the moment like someone said something or something didn't go to plan and that's always going to happen because it's life, right? Life throws us challenges, opportunities for growth, bends in the river, as one of my mentors said. And uh, it's it's happened in the last week for me, like something's really like threw me off, I've, I've heard something and actually right now I can't think what it is because I've conditioned myself to feel really good. Um, so... When things sometimes come at me, it, it can be really tough in the moment. So I really wanted to give you like three things that really help me in the moment. Now, the thing is, we've, we've all got a nervous system as human beings, unless uh, you're like a robot or something listening now. But uh, hello if you're a robot. Anyway, so we all have a nervous system. Now, our nervous system is, um, it has different parts of us it goes through we can be in a calm resourceful peaceful state now unfortunately um the majority of human beings particularly in like the uk the us that i've spoken to and myself included and not regularly in that state <laughs> it's when you're calm you're peaceful you're feeling like good you relax then there's the next one which i found most people are and it's something i've been working through is the the, the sympathetic uh, part of the nervous system and this is like the fight or flight response. And this is when you're like really like anxious, like angry, stress. You're like, you're ready for something. It like thinks you're fighting for survival, but you're really not, right? And it could just be like being judged, like put yourself on a video or on stage or something. It's like, oh my God, oh my God, life or death, life or death, when it's not really. Now that can be a very useful system when it is a life or death situation, like running away from a, a dangerous person or dangerous animal, right? But like most of the time we're not. Um, not saying it won't happen, but most of the time we're not, but we're like just stressed about something that our brain's like blowing out of proportion. And then there's also another part of uh, our system where we're in like this fight or f uh, we're in this uh, freeze response, not fight or flight, freeze response when we shut down. This can be when you're feeling down, depressed. Um, you really want to hide away from things and that's not a great place either. And I found I've gone from this when I've been in bad places, I've gone from this like fight or flight intense response to the shutdown because I've, my energy's got exhausted and I'm just like really tired as a result, as opposed to being in that peaceful, resource, calm state. So I'm going to talk about some of the things that can get that I found that has been useful to get me into that more resource, calm, peaceful state. But how does it feel for you when you're just like in that intense state or maybe that shutdown response state? It probably doesn't feel really good. Now, I'm not saying there's everyone's going to be in those, you know, those states at some point of the day, no matter how much you worked in you uh, or some point in your life, you know, or, or weeks, depending how much you've worked on you. But it's about how we can regulate our nervous system and calm, come back to a more calm state more times often than not. And of course, you're going to be in a more maybe shut down state or a stressful state, depending on the situation or circumstance in your life. But if you're constantly in a like fight or flight response, a stress state, then it's going to impact on your health long term. That's why we unfortunately see a lot of people uh, dying from stress um, because they've not learned to regulate their nervous system. So the first tip I'm going to give you is your breathing. This is something that's really helped me learn breathing techniques because breathing when you're like, think about it, when you're stressed, when you're angry, you're frustrated, you're like tense, you, your breathing's probably shallow. It's probably like really, really quick. Your heart rate's really up. Well, when you're in a calm state, think about it. Your breathing's controlled. It's calm. It's slow. All right. Which one of those feels better by changing our breathing? It can change how we're feeling. So when I get really stressed, I, like sometimes I can't just sit there and breathe. I have to walk first. Um, it's very rare that I can't just use the breath, but sometimes something might have really intense happened that I've had to go and exercise, go for a dramatic walk or something. So 
changing your breathing to a calm controlled state can really really help the second one getting outside getting outside in fresh air it's not always possible but if it's possible do it go for a walk because you can get more oxygen into your body and again that's that's kind of similar to the the breathing that's something that's really helped me in the moment calm down a little bit and then followed by breath work if i needed to and then the third one and i would suggest those two first because if we're in an intense state or we don't feel so good like trying to change the narrative in our heads not always the best thing changing the state or what's going on in terms of the physiological uh processes um is is a more impactful one the third one ask yourself a new question chances are if negative feelings emotions are going through it stem from a negative question so start seeing what's the negative question the negative thought the negative focus i've got right now and what could be a more empowering meaning that's something i like to do in the moment as well um going to finish with a final point uh just before that though i want to mention again that if you want to keep up to date of all the latest podcast episodes of my brand new podcast the men's mental health and growth podcast you can do so by clicking that podcast link in the show notes below okay my my final point is as you go through the day have a list on your phone of all the challenges you've overcome and achievements in your life because that's linked to the third one but it really allows you to access the quality with inside yourself on a quicker basis you can be like okay all right maybe you've done your breathing you don't feel so good in the moment and then you can start looking at that list okay oh well actually i've overcome this i've overcome that and that shows your brain their references and your whole system that you can overcome like a challenging situation right but again i would start with like changing your breath maybe getting out there walking outside exercise because changing your state is far more effective before you start trying to think through challenging thoughts because when you get sometimes into an intense state your body is like in this full kind of like stress response so changing what you do with your body is a really good start okay so that's what i got for you today i appreciate you for being here you'll improve other people in your life by being the best you and remember you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence